David, what are we looking at now? International Space Station is uh, tracking up into the Westpac where we have uh, Simon and Zulik. So this passes through over the atmosphere, uh, generally in the same area. Every It makes an orbit of the Earth every 90 minutes and we'll wait and see whether it captures anything from the typhoons as it enters the light. Um, we've not actually seen any visible imagery of these storms yet. I know it must be out there by now. I've not had the time to get to it. In uh, fact, I believe I've got an image now. So as we wait to see on that imagery there, we'll just briefly toss it away to this image here. You can see the storms as they look on the satellite visibly. Uh, that's the latest image. Um, interesting and let's see if we see anything on the international space station as it moves through it looks like that path will take it very close to sulik i think it will miss simran and on the screen for our viewers is the uh, tracker and it's probably going to fly over simran and you can see the yellow there the future no, it's going, to, it's going to miss Cimarron. It will fly over the southern half of Sulik. You should be able to see it if it's pointing forwards. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, also, I wanted to bring up quickly the poll that we, you posted uh, the hour ago about uh, whether or not people think we'll get to 12 named storms this year. There's over 100 votes right now, so you know it's pretty nice to see the participation. 70% are saying yes right now. So it's been pretty... Uh... Pretty steady there since the last half hour or so. Around 70% of you think we will get 12 named storms. I mean, it would be a really drab season if it didn't, but that is the long-term average. But people are so used to seeing more than 12 now. And you have to say, it's hardly been a show for the Atlantic so far this season. No, it really hasn't. So the International Space Station is approaching Sulik, we believe. I don't believe that. I don't know yet. Might that be part yeah, of the storm? It's difficult to see. It looks like it to me. Is that right-hand side? I think you can actually see no, the eye. No, no. It's not going to be over there. No. It's going to be on the left. You know, I can see, I can see something. Or Cimarron. On, typhoon on, like the right. on the left. Oh, you won't see Cimarron on that imagery. Central left. There's something that looks vaguely typhoon-like on near on the left. Could you imagine Michael being a wildlife commentator? <laughs> Here we see a wild. Well, there's plenty typhoon. of uh, <laughs> uh, wildlife uh, YouTube channels. We can uh, don't go there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You could just stop now. I'd just make a very good David Attenborough, wouldn't I? Um, oh. But for our viewers and having, well, uh, if that's Sulik, it looks horribly disorganised. I'm still not convinced. I think that is Sulik. No, Simon. No, you, Simon. Won't, you won't see Simon on that imagery. It's going nowhere near. It's going to the west of it. By some distance. No, I don't think that's. Right, see ya. That's yeah. definitely going to be Sulik. It's a track. Yeah. That's Sulik for sure. And we're looking so, at... Uh, no, it's not uh, Sulik. It's nothing at the minute. Well, the what? next path. Next path. No, no, keep keep it... No, I... right there on the left side, I swear. Well, where's its eye? It's, it's like there in the center. It's not. It's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that? Well, that? You tell I... me. There's a bunch of clouds by the looks of things. What? Right. what what's that Sulik's... in the distance? It could be. It could be. Sulik's still yet to come. That's true. Oh my goodness, we are. Uh... Before our viewers, I am. Re I am recording. Uh... Oh, that makes it all the greater for Steph and Michael. Very professional, guys. <laughs> very professional. We are great storm spotters. We should definitely fly out to Hawaii right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> But this is and live from the International Space Station. Give it a couple station. minutes, mate. It's coming up. 
Live from the International Space Station, this is the latest, uh, and it looks like Sulik appearing on the very edge of the globe now. Oh, yeah, okay. I think that is Sulik coming into view now. You can actually see the uh, the clockwise. Um, so just the, go on. Just, counterclockwise. Just going back to lane. Um, I You've just picked a bit of a bad lane. time. Oh. <laughs> Circular. <laughs> But no, just oh, saying that the yeah. out, outer spiral bands are um, now affecting Hawaii. Right. Um, just to deliver that update. I wouldn't no, say that's it? the case. No, a very are. peripheral high altitude band is just reaching the coast of the Big Island now. We'll get a visible on that shortly. After we've looked at this, that is definitely Sulik appearing on the satellite yep, on no, the uh, Sorry. International Look Space Station. Look at the outer bands. Yeah, we're seeing it. It's a pretty broad system. It's very extensive. Jeez. There um, it is. So we've got it. Ragged eye. Not, not doing. It is. Simran is Beautiful. just off shot to the right hand side. Yep. So we've got Soon Lake again. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this will probably be uploaded to the channel later so you guys can. Yeah, watch including this again the if you want. mess at the beginning. When you guys thought it was there. No, I just cut that. Well, I can put that in the video. I can uh, put that in I'm the sure update. You, sure, you will. All right. Well, there it is. Oh, it's sad. Uh, let's see what we can. If there's any observations we can make as it does pass over there. You can see a dry air slot kind of fitting into it a little bit. What side, mate? It's almost uh, like the Saturn's discs. I, I don't know. It's it's more visible in infrared. I, I can't really describe which side of the storm it is because this is like sideways. That is the oh, western beautiful. side coming. Well, it's coming from the southwest, going northeast. Okay, okay so the, the southern side kind of has a bit of, or southeast side kind of has like a dry air protrusion getting into it. I don't know how visible that is on the visible. You kind of can see it a tiny bit. It's more visible on that imagery there. You're talking about. The area near the eye. Yeah, uh, there's a bit of protrusion going in from the south and south southeast side. Uh, kind of a break in the convection a little bit. Cloud tops are still in there, but there isn't heavy convection. Uh, there's no minus 50 or below yeah. temperatures at that point. You can definitely see those indentations there on the southern side of the eye. You can also see it on the visible. I don't want to cross over to the visible just yet, just so that everyone can see this. But again, you can see the eye there. Um, it's still, it's more pronounced on there than it is on the satellite imagery, let's say. There's still some areas, though, where you have really heavy cloud tops, though. Um, I don't know, you can see a little bit of them at the southern side. You see a lot of, little bit of flare-ups a tiny bit. And now as it heads towards the eastern side, you may be able to make out the landmass of Japan and maybe South Korea just off the left-hand side. No, just watching this, um, the live feed, it is just very mesmerizing to watch. It, it just, look, it's, um, we're looking at also, um, making observations from some passing over. That's Sulik, isn't it? Yeah. From, yeah. Um, is that it does look. It looks like there's something getting into the outflow. Did you say that was coming from the southeast going up the ridge to the northwest? Uh, south southeast coming up northwards into the eye. A uh, bit of a crack. Yeah, there's there's something that's getting in there. So I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna weaken the storm somewhat. Uh, the the landmass of Japan is underneath that area now. Uh, that sort of residual band there on the outer edge that we're looking at there, that is over Shikoku right now. 